Surface markers are buoys fitted with flags. Why do we need to have a flag marker in the middle of the ocean? Well, it helps fishers to locate the fad and thus to find fish. Surface markers also help other navigators to see the fads and avoid them. What do you need to rig a surface marker? Before even thinking about rigging a fad, you need to make sure that you have the basic tools. A pair of gloves for each technician, a flexible measuring tape of at least 20 meters, a set of feed spikes and a handsaw, a blade knife and a pair of scissors, a hammer, caliper, a shifting spanner, a flat nose pliers, a long nose pliers and a mono cutter, 30 centimeter cable ties and ideally an electric rope cutter. Now, to rig a surface marker, you need an ABS hard plastic float with a center hole, a PVC pipe or a rigid pole, such as bamboo for the flagpole, a piece of cloth for the flag, a weight such as a rebar to counterbalance the flagpole. Note that the higher the pole is out of the water, the heavier the counterweight needs to be. Nylon rope, about 16 millimeters diameter, binding or whipping rope about 4 mm diameter, insulation tape or cable ties. And here is a recap for you. How to rig a surface marker? Insert the PVC pipe or the bamboo through the center hole of the ABS float. Beginning with a constrictor knot at the bottom of the float, hold the float in place with at least four rounds of rope, clove hitched each time at the top and bottom of the float. Tape the piece of rebar to the bottom of the pipe and tape the length of nylon along the rebar and up to the float. Whip the pole, the rebar and the rope together. The piece of rebar will give weight to the flagpole and ensure it stands vertically in the water. The rope will be used to connect the surface marker to the main float line. Leave the end of any rope free as it will act as aggregators. Fix the flag to the top of the flagpole using a constrictor knot at both ends to prevent the flag from sliding down the pole. And the surface marker is ready. Mm -hmm.